the Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G is Oppo's first smartphone in the Renault series to cross the Rs 50,000 mark in India. It comes with high-end hardware, premium design and a very capable set of cameras. However, the Renault series have generally not offered great value in India. So does the new Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G meet our expectations for a premium smartphone? And is it worthy of its premium price tag? Let's find out in this review. Oppo does not attempt to reinvent anything with the Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G's design. However, it feels quite familiar and premium with its rounded corners and curved edges. Its front and rear panels are curved on the sides and are made of glass, while the skinny frame is made from polycarbonate. The matte finish of the silvery grey option feels quite premium and comfortable to hold with its curved edges. But it's also quite slippery, so it's good that Oppo includes a grippy silicon case in the box. The 6.74 inch curved edge OLED display has a 120Hz refresh rate and is curved on the left and right sides. While the curved edges bring some functionality, it mainly adds to the phone's premium appeal. The display produces natural colors, gets quite bright outdoors and is clearly visible in all types of lighting conditions. Unlike the competition, Oppo hasn't gone for an LTPO display but an LTPS panel, which can only switch between 30, 60, 90 and 120 hertz. AGR10 video streaming is limited to Amazon Prime Video and the YouTube app as Netflix was not supported at the time of this review. Unlike most smartphones available at and below this price, the Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G does not have an IP rating which we feel is a big miss. The new phone has received a big upgrade from the Renault 8 Pro 5G in terms of its processor. There's now a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 SoC which isn't the latest but seemed more than enough to meet our gaming and everyday app usage requirements. The phone is available in a single variant with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage and also offers an expanded RAM feature. Gaming performance on this smartphone is quite good. Asphalt 9 Legends look gorgeous at high quality in 60fps mode and Call of Duty Mobile also work flawlessly at max and ultra frame rates with all graphics settings enabled. Thanks to the new graphite sheet and larger vapor cooling chamber, heating was not a problem. The display's 240Hz touch sampling rate also worked flawlessly after a few tweaks. The phone's 4700mAh battery lasted 19 hours and 15 minutes in our HD video loop test. With heavy use, the phone easily lasted a little over a day and about a day and a half with casual use, which is also quite good for a premium device. Using the included 100W charger, the Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G was able to charge from 0 to 75% in 15 minutes and completed the charge in just 30 minutes. Sadly, there is no wireless charging which is another miss for a premium device. The Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G ships with ColorOS 13.1 which is based on Android 13. The software experience is typically ColorOS, however, Oppo has fine-tuned its haptics to deliver very accurate vibrations whether it's for ringtones or browsing through the software interface. While the software experience was smooth, the phone comes with plenty of pre-installed third-party apps. It's also plenty of spammy notifications from the game space and app market apps on a daily basis which get annoying after a while. The Oppo Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G has three rear cameras which includes a 50 megapixel primary, an 8 megapixel ultra wide and an interesting 64 megapixel telephoto with 3x optical zoom. Selfies are handled by a 32 megapixel front facing camera. In daylight, the primary camera manages an impressive level of detail. Whether shooting landscapes or people, photos have accurate skin tones and mostly natural looking colors. In low light, the camera performs quite well under street lighting with slightly limited dynamic range leading to slightly contrasted photos. However, there is less resolved detail when snapping photos of dimly lit scenes. Performance of the ultra wide camera in daylight is just fine, but photos were not as detailed as a primary camera and often came out a bit overexposed. The telephoto camera is the real showstopper on the Renault 10 Pro Plus 5G and its performance was impressive. When shooting subjects or objects, depth, detail and separation offered by this camera is really impressive in daylight and even under artificial light. In dimly lit or street lit shooting conditions, photos come out looking soft and have a watercolor effect with limited detail. Selfies look sharp with accurate skin tones once you switch the beautifying features off. 
The phone is also good at shooting clear and sharp selfies in low light, which is another rarely found quality in smartphones in this segment. Videos captured at 4K in daylight are well stabilized and show good details and dynamic range. Recording video in low light results in footage with minimal noise but with a steady frame rate and slightly limited dynamic range. Stabilization is also quite good with a bit of shimmer but the frame is a bit cropped. With Oppo's Reno10 Pro Plus 5G performing well across the board, it's easy to conclude that the phone is a worthy upgrade from the Reno8 Pro 5G. It is on par with the competition in terms of everyday performance and camera capability when compared to competing devices such as the OnePlus 11 5G and the iQOO 11 5G. It may lack the latest processor and has a slightly smaller battery, but its telephoto and selfie camera's capabilities seem to make up for that, justifying its asking price. And that's it for our review of the Oppo Reno10 Pro Plus 5G. Let us know what you think about the device in the comments below. And for all things tech, log on to Gadgetsy60.com.